guitar playing, you've definitely over the years had an affinity for unusual guitars. And I'm going back to like your Music Craft Messenger. Um, yeah. Because that was pretty unusual to have like an aluminum neck back there and back then and it had yeah. the, the tuning fork built into it. Yeah. So going through that, through your career, you seem to have an affinity for Parker guitars. Like, what is it that attracts you to that or just offbeat guitars in general? It's, uh, in the case of the Parker, it's because I had two vertebrae fused together in my neck. I had C6 and C7 fused. Gotcha. And, so it's and great. the doctor told me, no more strats, no more telecasters, no more Les Pauls, no more SG, no more heavy slabs. And I went, you just killed my whole guitar collection. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and But I, when I was in, uh, in Japan with Ringo in 1995, I went to the Korg factory because I, I have been a Korg endorser mm-hmm. for a uh, number of years. And I always go over and hang out with them. Those are great guys, and I like to see what they got coming, what's new, you know? Sure. Because uh, even a little pedal would inspire me to, to you know, write a song. It's just something that changes the sound a little bit. But I go over, and they are t- you know, showing me their f- foot gear and, you know, stomp boxes and recording things. I mean, they had a whole bunch of stuff that they were showing me. And then the guy says, have you ever heard of a Parker Fly? And I didn't. I thought he was talking about a stomp box. I didn't know it was a guitar. Sure. I said, no, what is that? And he, he goes in the other room and he comes back with this strange looking guitar and he hands it to me. And that one will only weigh four pounds, Peter. Wow. It was like, when I hit, when I picked it up, it, it went up and I mean, I just like, wow, this is amazing. Uh, and then after I had that operation, I flash back in my mind to, you know, that Parker, uh, after he says nothing more than five pounds. And I called Ken Parker out there in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and I said, guys, I need your help. Yeah. <laughs> I need I need a guitar, but I don't want to have a tremolo on it. I don't want to have a whammy bar. I, I like uh, hardtail, and I use my hand for vibrato. Well, you know, and, and as much as you move around on stage, I can see you not wanting a floating bridge. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. And these guitars, they don't weigh an ounce over five pounds. I've got two of them that are identical. I've seen people from, you know, your shredders, your your major heavy metal guys to Joni Mitchell playing them. So they're obviously quality. Yeah, absolutely. And I think Phil Keggy did a whole album um, on a fly just, just to... Uh, say uh, kudos to the uh, Ken Parker and Larry Fishman who owned uh, the the Parker Guitar Company for 10 years and then they sold out to US Music and since they sold out the, the quality of the guitars went way down. Yeah, I but knew they that. Did, in, in 10 years, the first 10 years they put out 30,000 instruments dude, so there's a bunch of them out there. 